What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pyrostasis here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Tale of Kingdoms mod for Minecraft. Now, to install this mod, like most other mods, you do need to have Mod Loader installed. I do have a video that shows you guys how to do that. You'll find the annotation up in the top left corner of your screen right now. If you haven't installed Mod Loader, please click that annotation. That'll take you over to that video. Watch that. It'll show you where to download it, how to install it, get that set up. Once that is installed, then you need to go ahead and download the Tale of Kingdoms mod itself. You're going to find that in the description of this video. I'll also link the Mod Loader um, website as well. I can't link the direct links because they use Adfly and that is not allowed by YouTube for obvious reasons. Anyways, once you have these two files downloaded and you have Mod Loader installed, you want to go to your C drive. You want to go to users, and you need to go to the profile that you are uh, that you have Minecraft installed on. So if that's your profile, select your name. If it's you know your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, whatever, go to that profile. Then you want to go to app data, and you want to go to roaming, and then you want to do dot Minecraft bin. Now I did that very quickly, so I'm going to slow that down and do it one more time. That's your go to my computer, C drive. From C drive, you go to users, your name, app data roaming, dot minecraft, and then bin. And then in bin you're going to see minecraft.jar, or it may just say minecraft. Depends on your layout and how you've got the windows set up. Now once you've got that set up, you need to open it. <clears throat> so right click on it. Don't double, don't double click it because depending on how your computer set up, you may run the, the Java file. You want to open it with WinRAR or 7-zip. I use WinRAR. You can use whichever one you want. With WinRAR open, you're going to notice you can see quite a few files in here. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to delete meta-env. I don't know why you want to delete meta-env, but that is what it says to do. So get that deleted. Once that's gone, um, you're supposed to test it, make sure you know that didn't break your copy of Minecraft. If it did, as always, you want to make sure you back up before you do any of this stuff. Now, once that is set up, you want to open up your Tale of Kingdoms set up here. And you can get that um, at the website in the description below. So highlight all of this and then simply drag it over and it's gonna give you a pop-up. You wanna go ahead and click OK and it's gonna merge. And you're gonna notice like Tiber Mod, you can see Tiber Mods there. And that is going to easily and quickly install the mod. Once that's set up, you are good to go and you can start the game up and enjoy the mod. Now, I will be uh, covering another video that shows exactly what all uh, Tale of Kingdoms does, uh, if there's any configurations, etc., etc., how to operate the mod and how it differs from uh, from other mods, etc., etc. So, you should find that annotation up in the upper right hand corner. I'm not sure if I'll have that up immediately, but it should be up in the next couple days. So, click on that. That'll take you on over there, show you what I think about the mod, give you my input, etc., etc. Anyways, hope you guys are liking this series. If you do, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.